Hi guys. Mm. Last minute sip. Hello. Um, we're going to be talking about um, if you want to find more joy and confidence in your acting. So let's talk about wanting uh, to feel more joy and more confidence. Um, so I think that that is the most frequent thing that I hear actors talk about, that they want to be confident when they act. And you might um, experience this too, that maybe sometimes it gets uncomfortable and so you have self-doubt and you have fear and you'd rather really just walk to an audition or to set or to a play and really feel like you got this, like you're in control and you're confident with what's going to happen. And, and the other thing that I hear a lot of actors talk about is that they haven't been feeling um, happy for a long time when they act because there's so much fear and so much doubt that it's become like a painful experience. So um, I totally relate if you want to feel more confidence and more joy when you act. And um, where I'm going to take this discussion, unfortunately, is not going to satisfy that want. Um, so it's a trick question in a way. Um, and I'm going to explain to you why, uh, but stay with me for a sec. So what you want may be confidence and joy because what you're experimenting right now is the self-doubt, the pain and the fear that goes with it. But what you need in order to not even worry about those things like joy and confidence is actually something very different than confidence and, um, and joy. So the lack of confidence is only a consequence of a root problem and that's what you need to address. You, you don't need to work on your confidence or work on being happy because if you're walking to an audition and what you're working on and what you're really trying to do is to be confident, well, you're kind of hijacking the whole audition. Your, your job is not to be confident. Your job description is to defend a character, right? Whether you're at an audition or if you're shooting or playing, your job is to give yourself up for the character and, and fight for what they want, not for what you want. So when you're busy dealing with trying to be confident and as a result feel the joy of, you know, being on top of your well, you're, you're not, um, you're not doing your job. You're taking care of your ego. You're taking care of, of the moment after you're taking care of the result. You're, you know, attached to the result instead of being in the present moment. So, um, the reason why, um, you're kind of deviated into wanting to be confident and joyful is because the conditioning that we've all been raised into um, does not allow you to just feel human, just feel whatever emotion you're feeling, right? All the conditioning, all the formatting, all the wiring that we've received is all about behaving a certain way, feeling a certain way, thinking a certain way, but you've never been nurtured and encouraged to actually feel whatever the heck is going through you, right? Sadness wasn't really allowed, definitely not publicly. Anger, definitely not either. So when you're raised with that, well, all of those emotions that you're feeling, you censor them, you repress them, and instead you want to feel that one thing that is allowed and that is valued in this society, which is being confident, being strong, being happy. That That's the social media world. That's what this culture has become. That's what technology has kind of pushed us even more into is like, let's all try and be confident and beautiful and happy. Well, that's all fake and everybody knows it. And yet, you know, everything that has led up, up to this, led up to this point has pressured us to feel that way. When in reality, as human beings and therefore as actors, what we really need is to be able to just feel the full experience of feel alive and to be down for that, to be able to, to sit and to be with any kind of emotion. And as an actor, you're in the art of being fully alive. So if you can't 
deal with your emotions, how on earth can you professionally provide and be available um, and allow all of those emotions for a character? How can you be of service to your character if if you you can't feel your own ingredients? You won't be able to pass them on to your character. You won't, right? So what again, what you want might be to be confident and joyful because that's the only thing you've been wired to think is okay and therefore you're afraid of everything else. But what you actually need is to reconnect, is to go back to your nature, to go back to your humanity, which is you were born with a certain set of emotions and they go from dark to light and there's nothing wrong with any of them. There's no good or bad emotions. There's not even any negative or positive emotions. There's just emotions. Some are sticky, some are flowy, and that's it. They're not better or worse, right? When you can be with that, when you can be with all of them, you can actually offer that to your character, to the story. You can be in the moment, that person fighting for what they want, the character, and you can stop actually being attached to your ego about what you want. Like, I want to feel confident. I want to feel joy. You'll feel those things. They don't matter in the moment that you're performing. There's something much, much, much bigger and juicier and more exhilarating to experience. It's like a new world. It's actually being fully present and fully alive. There's, there's actually no words to describe it. And the best way to understand that would be to actually listen to people who do this kind of work and who experience the freedom, the instinct, the moment, the zone in such a, a dramatics, in such a palpable way that if you listen to them, you realize how powerful it is, right? If you're interested in doing this in, in, kind, of, in kind of not being so drawn and attached to your ego, but actually wanting to show up in a much bigger, more human, more authentic, more free, more instinctive way for your characters. And therefore, yes, you'll check confidence on your list and yet you'll check joy. Not that you'll have them each time, but they will be byproducts. They won't matter compared to the full amount of life that will flow through your veins. They'll be ridiculous. I hope this made sense. <clears throat> if I wasn't clear, or if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. Um, again, yes, this was a trick question. Um, you don't wanna be looking for confidence and joy because if you are, it means you're taking care of your ego. You wanna make sure you're fully alive so that you can put that in service to your character's needs and not your needs. So what you want, the confidence and joy, might just be very superficial compared to what you need, which is to be capable a feeling all of your humanity and bring it and be of service uh, with it. Okay, guys, so put your questions in the comments. If you're wanting to do this work and you're confined and you have all the time in the world but are uncertain about your budget, we're um, offering our support during this um, very interesting phase by doing a BOGO offer, which means buy one, get one free. So you can join with a friend and enjoy a cut of 50%. And if you actually need a friend, you can let us know. And there's plenty of people who are needing a friend in our community and we'll match you up with someone so that you can join at 50%. So don't hesitate to connect with us in the comments. You can write friends. You can send us an email at info or not uh, info at to be or not to act dot com and, and tell us if you need a friend and then we'll hook you up and you'll be able to join at 50 percent thanks for being here send us your questions hope to meet you inside of this wonderful work to become your true self and i'll see you next week bye guys